Hi guys and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. So in this video we have prepared a special feature demonstration for you, one of the old but uh, good ones uh, and that is how you can use our role settings in Amelia. You can find this feature under the settings page which Alexander is going to show you in just a second. But before we start with the video, I just wanted to mention that we will be at World Camp uh, 2022 in Porto. So if you're there, you can stop by and visit our stand, talk to our team, the Amelia team. And uh, I hope we will see you that uh, second to fourth of June. And uh, we look forward to meeting any of you guys that can make it. So now uh, we can just start with the feature demonstration and Alexander, you can take it over. Okay, well, as Olga said, uh, role settings are in settings as a section of Amelia. There are roles for the employee, for the customer, and for the admin. Now, since admin has only one um, capability setting here, that is to book an appointment at any time, which is turned off by default, we'll start from there. So basically, uh, with this turned off, if an appointment is being made, by an administrator from the back end, he will be able to select the uh, customer, the service, and the employee. And the admin will be able to book only the days when the employee actually works. So in this case, it's Monday till Friday from 9 to 5. So 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The reason why we see 4.30 is because this is a 30 minute service, so it will end at 5. If we enable this option and then we go back and refresh this page and when we try to add a new appointment you will see that the administrator would now be able to book an appointment for this employee for any day so Sunday and Saturday are also included and the time is from midnight until midnight the next day so for example, if the employee works until 5, but a customer calls, says they can't make it before 7, the uh, administrator can create an appointment at 7 p.m. even though the employee is not uh, working during that time by default. So now when we create the appointment, you can see it in here. That's basically what's covered in role settings for the administrator. For the employee, these are all self-explanatory, but we'll go through them. Uh, configure their services. So basically, this allows your employees to select the services that are created in Amelia. So they would be able to assign themselves to different services. Mm -hmm. Configure their schedule would be to update their working hours. Uh, the configure their days off would allow your employees to add a day off, for example, a sick day. Uh, special days is the one of the features that we've mentioned before. For example, the employee has a doctor's appointment on May 31st at 12. So he's going to be working from 9 until 12 and then from 2 until 6, for example. So he can configure that through the front end employee panel. Manage their appointments allows them to change the dates and times of the appointment to change the service that's linked to, appoint, to an appointment to assign different customers and so on. Manage their events also, similar as with the appointments. And here you can enable the employee panel, which needs to be a pre-made pre page. So for example, if we go to pages section here, we will see that this page already exists. So in order to create that page, you need to add the proper short code which you'll see here and paste it in here. So basically you'll we'll paste the URL in here and here you can see as soon as this page loads that the employee, Amelia employee panel is by default has enabled uh, appointments and events, but you can turn those off in here. When you turn both off, they will again show both appointments and events. So in here you can enable appointments or events or both. And this is the option to hide the employee profile. So if you configure all these capabilities and you hide employee's profile, he won't be able to actually go in to their profile and change their name, last name, email, or link to um, 
to the uh, Outlook or Google Calendar. So let's take a look at the front end of the employee page, uh, employee panel, sorry about that. So in here, I'm already logged in and here I can manage my appointments, change them, reschedule them, do whatever I want to do. Uh, I can go to my profile and change my details, link to Outlook or Google, uh, assign myself to some services, change my working hours, add days off, uh, or add special days. So again, if we modify the short code so we hide the employee profile, this wouldn't be here, and basically you wouldn't be able to access any of these settings. Uh, in the profile of the employee, you can choose the default time zone. So this is identified by my location, but if I'm an employee that's working in New York, for example, I can change the time zone so I can configure my working hours in New York's time zone. When we go to appointments, this is the time zone that's going to be displayed here. So if, for example, this appointment was made for 2 p.m. in Central European time, and I wanna see what that looks like in in New York, we can go to America and select, well, not New York, anything, basically just select this and you will see that the times have changed. So this only applies to uh, displaying the times of appointments in this time zone, while the time zone in, under my profile allows you to modify your working hours and special days in the selected time zone. Going back to the role settings for the customer, you have the ability to check the customer's name for existing email when booking. If this is enabled, one customer will only be able to book appointments with his or hers first and last name. So for example, if a mother wants to book an appointment for herself and two children, she won't be able to book additional two appointments using her children uh, names because this is enabled. So if you want to allow your customer to add multiple names but use the same email, this should be turned off. The second option automatically creates a WordPress user when a customer books an appointment. So under users, you would see Amelia customer as a new user role and a new user saved in here, which would be linked to the customers when the customer books an appointment. This option would allow your customers to reschedule their own appointments. So again, when they log in, not to the employee panel, but into the customer panel, if they have booked appointments, they will be able to reschedule them. Every customer has an option to uh, cancel the appointment and that cannot be changed. So for example, let's log in as this customer just to show you what it looks like. I don't want to say this. So here we can cancel because I didn't save these settings. Um, when I save the settings and refresh the front end page, you'll see that I'll be able to reschedule this appointment unless of course the general settings of Amelia or the settings of the service don't allow me to reschedule within a certain amount of time. So I would be able to reschedule this for another date and the customer here has the uh, full um, freedom to choose a different appointment. Again, you see this in a different time zone. So it's 7 a.m. because the time zone is set to something else, America. And if we go back to Europe, Belgrade, we will see that in the local time zone, which is 3 p.m. Uh, back to the settings. Um, under customer, you have the option to enable the customer panel and the require password to log in. When you enable this option, your customers will have to log in using a password and the password is sent to them. The actual generation of the password is sent to them through the notifications. If you include the customer panel URL placeholder. So this is mentioned in our documentation, but for example, here you can use the customer panel URL and just paste it in here. And this, needs to be the placeholder. So the URL cannot be the URL from here. 
but instead has to be this placeholder because Amelia will recognize that this customer is visiting the panel for the first time, so it'll offer the password creation. Every next time they log in, they will be sent to the login page you saw here previously when I logged into the panel. Uh, you can allow the customers to delete their profile. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is if you turn this off and save, and when you log out of the customer panel, when we refresh the page, you will only see enter the email address. So basically, to enter the customer panel, we would need to enter the email address of the customer and then, okay, I have to log back in. Sorry about that. Okay, logging in. So, uh, this email is actually the customer panel access email, which already has the customer panel URL set by default. Going back into the settings, we're only left with the last option, which is the same as the employee panel. So basically, you need to copy the URL and paste it in here. And if you have multiple languages on your website, you would need to create separate URLs for every language, for every local. So in here, when you click on languages, for example, we've added German, so we would need to create a German page which would have, for example, DE here. So we would copy this and paste it here. So the German panel is shown in German language. And basically, this is not so short explanation about the role settings. And I hope I covered everything. So guys, uh, if there's anything I missed or anything that you would like to add. Yeah. Uh, if there are anything else or any other options that you want to allow uh, for your users or your roles in Amelia, feel free to leave them in the comments. We are always looking at what we can improve and what else we can add to Amelia to have your and your experience even better and cover the all use cases for all of our users. So if you do have any uh, improvements and suggestions, please leave those down below in the comments. Also, we did cover a few more videos on employees, how you set and configure their schedule. So if you're interested to seeing that even further and how you set up the working hours uh, from the back end of Amelia, there, there are videos on that and we will leave them in the uh, description below the video so you can check those out as well. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.